All right, we're going to talk about one more time of how to stratify and how to use a cluster sample and how to also use a um, systematic sample. So here is another example of doing this. A manager of a large oceanfront hotel would like to survey his guests to determine their satisfaction from the view of their room. The hotel has 10 floors. Um, half of the rooms overlook the ocean and the other half overlook the street. And there are 50 rooms in each floor for a total of 500 rooms. The hotel manager would like to select a sample of 50 rooms. 50 rooms, okay. So describe how we use a strata random sample of 50 rooms. Well, strata means we're taking all right, our population, in this case, our rooms, okay? And we're going to divide them up into distinct things that might have some impact and how people will determine their satisfaction level. Um, a lot of times, maybe this would be possibly overlooking the ocean, okay? Some people might say the height of the room, but sometimes I, I'm going to say, like, um, a lot of this might be for um, where they are looking on the ocean side or if they're looking at the street side. So actually, in this case, we're going to go over here, and we're going to separate these into our two distinct strata, okay, is going to equal um, the ocean side, all right, and the street side, okay, street side. Now, for a random sample, we're going to take and take a random sample out of here, all right, and because we have um, this right here, and we need 50, so we're going to take 25 out of our street side, I'm sorry, out of our ocean side, and 25 out of our street side, so from both sides. And those are going to be the rooms that we're going to use for our sample of our survey. So the first thing we want to do is, um, one way you could write this out, and I've done this on other ones too, but I'm going to do this a little bit differently here, is that we're going to label, all right, all the ocean, all right, ocean side rooms. All right, um, one, two, 250, because that's how many they have, because it's half of them are, half that's half, half, half of the 500. All right, we'll label one. Okay. We're next going to use, all right, a random number generator, all right, to select. Okay, um, in this case, we're going to select 25 unique numbers. Okay, um, these will be the rooms that will be surveyed. Okay, and that's what we have. So we're going to use the remnant number generator to select 25, and that's the selecting process of the third step. Um, these will be the rooms that will be surveyed. Um, so then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to repeat this. Um, we are going to repeat the process for the street side rooms. All right. And that's what we're going to do. Okay. And so that is another way of going about and writing out the sample. Okay, you can maybe kind of group this all together, but we have our label, we have our randomized selection, all right, and then we have a repeat deposit for the street side rooms. And that's how we're going to get our samples for our survey. Um, the next thing is if we want to do a cluster. Now, a cluster, if you recall, is like once again, where you're going to have a bunch of different things in our population. Our population, once again, is our rooms. And so, where do we have some natural clusters. Well, it looks like we have um, right here um, 10 floors, okay? Um, and I want to separate these into floors, okay? So those are going to be our clusters. So our clusters in this case are going to be our floors. And from here, we're going to randomly select a cluster, okay? Random select clusters. And in these, we're going to take all of the rooms in that cluster. So in this case, we have 10 floors. So the first thing is we're going to um, label um, each floor, oops, what the hell there, each floor, a number, all right, one, two, ten, all right, one, ten. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a random number generator, 
to select. All right, one room, sorry, one number, one number. All right, this will be the floor in which, and I'm gonna put this in caps, all rooms will be surveyed. And so we're just going to take one room and when we're doing that, okay, or one floor and then all of those, and that's going to be where all rooms, and that's 50 of them, will be surveyed, okay? Because um, remember, that's what we want to try to get is 50 rooms. Now, the final one we have is a systematic random sample. Now, a systematic random sample is where you have your population, all right, you have all your different things in your population, and what you do here is you're going to start... You're going to start by labeling all the rooms in this our population, but then we're going to have a starting point, and then we're going to systematically go down the line, and that's going to be our next one we're going to do, and systematically go down the line and do that. So we randomly select our starting point. All right, so we randomly select our starting point. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to label all the rooms, all the rooms. All right, one, two, 500. Okay, um, then we're going to use a, use a random number generator to select one room, or sorry, one number, one number, which will be the starting starting point. Okay. We will then all right select every tenth room. From, from the previous, previous, okay? Starting point, we will then select the 10th room from the previous, um, previous, and we probably should say until, till, we select 50 numbers. Uh, probably should change it. We'll select every tenth number All right, number will be a starting point. We'll then select every tenth number from the previous until it's like 50 numbers. These will be the rooms that will be surveyed. Those will be the rooms that we've surveyed. Okay. Now there are some definitely some benefits for each one of these methods. Now the first method, all right, I'm just gonna put this in red. Um, let's just look at strata. So what's the benefit for strata? Um, well for strata when we do this, um, at least on the ocean side, um, what we would probably guarantee is that since um, the way you face the ocean for the street probably affects your satisfaction, we we'll probably strata usually gives us less variation. All right, so um, the strata sample would offer less variation, all right, less variation from the true, all right, level of satisfaction. That's what we're kind of anticipating, all right, and so from our survey. 
So that's one thing that will happen. With the cluster, the cluster is really easy. Okay, so when you do a cluster sample, a cluster sample is much easier right, to um, perform. And that is one of the benefits. So it's very simple to perform it. Um, your data probably is going to be not as reliable, probably more variation, but um, benefit it is much easier, all right, much easier in doing that. Okay, so strata is less variation, cluster much easier. Now for a simple random or for a systematic random sample, um, in this one the benefit is that with systematic sampling, or random sampling that is, um, random sample is in this case um, we are guaranteed guaranteed um, a well, essentially, a room on each floor, okay, if we did it this way. And so, um, because it's just going to snake through all the different floors, and if we, wherever we start, then it's going to go to the 10th row, and we'll eventually probably get to every single floor, because we're going by 10s, and we would eventually go through every single one of those values. All right, and so that's kind of another benefit, so we have that. All right, well, I hope this helps you out gives you another um, example of how to um, lay out of how you're sampling things, goes through the three-step procedure of label, what are you going to use to randomize it, and then select. Um, also, hopefully this also helps you understand what's the difference between strata, clusters, and also this curious thing of systematic. Okay, well, yeah, good luck and God bless the rest of your problems.